I'm the man you need the most. I'm the man that isn't any doubt. I am the man, the man of great renown, the bravest man in this here town. <laughs> That's what I am. So what brave thing did you ever do? I prevented you from dying an old man, didn't I? <laughs> if I had refused to marry you, would you have loved me just as much? I would. I'd have loved you more. Well, if I were single again, I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man on earth. Well, I should say not. If I was the last man on earth, I'd start a harem. <laughs> Can you look me in the face and deny that you married me for my money? I cannot. I might deny it, but I can't look at that face and deny it. <laughs> That's a fine way to talk about me. Well, what are you crying about? Oh, I wouldn't cry for the best man living. You don't have to cry for him. You've got him. <laughs> Is that so? Never mind, darling. I know a man that would give $10,000 to see you. Is that right? Yes, a blind man. <laughs> well, maybe I'm not good looking, but I dress out of sight. Well, that's the proper place to dress, say. I'm going to celebrate me golden wedding tomorrow. Why, we've only been married a year, not 50. Well, it seems 50 to me. <laughs> do you remember when we first met? I do. It was on the 13th day of the month on a Friday at a dinner party. There were 14 at the table and I walked under a ladder. <laughs> oh, there's not much difference between you and a fool. I know. It's only a couple of feet, that's all, say. There was a millionaire died last week. Would you like to be his widow? No, I'd rather be yours. Oh, I'm not two-faced. Well, one face like yours is enough. You never could live with two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that you have pitted me enough? I do, I do. Don't you think that you're a great big blow? <laughs> you bet I do, I do. 